Hello everyone, this is Feel Good of Feel Good Gunpla, and today I am doing a custom review of one of my other Iron Blood Orphan customs, as I like to call it the Jet Astroff Gundam 2.0. Now, I did a video about seven months ago of my custom Jet Astroff, which I will have in the link in the description below. Also, I will have, or at least I will try to put a card up, um, probably above, maybe just above the screen or something like that. I'm still new to putting cards in my videos, so bear with me on that. It may not be perfect, but I try. So basically, this is my, uh, basically it's a remake of the original Jet Astro Gundam custom that Jet Astro that I did seven months ago. I it was an okay custom, but I thought it could be better. And from the previous video where I showed uh, my dual Astro friend, I had to buy two um, Astro Gundams Resento Mementos, and because of that, I had a lot of excess parts so I ended up using the excess parts from those two kits to make this newer version of the Jet Astro as you can see and again um, I'm a, just like I'm a it may be in the last video I don't know I'm just recording all of this so I don't know if some of the additional effects will I'll be able to do it now if I do. Here we go. This kit here is a cross between Astroff Origin to your left and Astroff Gundam Resento Memento on your right. Upper left, upper right for the pictures. And I think it turned out pretty good. It could have been better, but with me, I always think it always could be better. It's just, I'm real ticky, real picky when it comes to stuff. You know, and it's almost like it can't be good enough. It could be always better. It's just something I'm going through, I guess you can say. But as you can see, um, I got in a pose where it's like holding this thing. What I may end up doing is doing another pose in this video where it's kind of in flight mode. But I guess to explain what the capability of the Gundam, I would have to explain, I guess, or um, after our origin capability. Because pretty much, it's probably, I ain't going to lie, it's about 80, if not, I would say 80%, if not 90%. Astro Origin, you can tell probably what's different would be the arm, the left arm, and the head. And that's it. Um, other than that, it's pretty much Astro Origin recolored, I guess you can say, with a different head and different arm. Okay, see the right arm here? And let's see, I don't, do I have my, ah, oh, there it is. Mm, see, it's a work. The right arm here is Origin. This one here is from Astro Resento Memento. Also, we got the helmet. As you may have noticed, um, I painted a scarlet red for the shoulder binders here. Still, the wings are chromed out. Also, the backpack is red now. And also, it it looks similar to Astro Ren, except that if you look closely here, it's um it's a newer. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Why not? This may work. It may not. As you probably notice here, you know it's a different texture. I'm gonna zoom back. It's a it's a different uh 
Oh, now I'm starting. It's a different, different leg armor, basically. For the different leg armor for the legs, different leg armor for the thighs here. Um, pretty much the same right armor here. Um, I think I use Origins uh, armor for these parts here. I use Astroff Ren's um, shoulder, you know, arm piece here. Just recolored that because for Ren, it's black. For Jet, it's red. And also the color of the helmet here, I basically just reversed the colors. Ren is pretty much blue. You know, this part, of, you know, everything is pretty much mainly blue with a little red. You know, up here it's red, but here it's blue. This was blue and now it's red. So I reversed the colors on the helmet. So it's pretty much uh, Astro or it's pretty much mainly an Astro Origin recolor with a few new parts, and that's it. And like I say, you have to explain. I'm gonna explain a little bit here. Basically, it's a mid to close range mobile suit. Maybe later I add some weapons um, to this one. You know, maybe like a. a different sword or maybe a better gun or maybe I can add a gun in here somehow which you know have two guns on each side I don't know if I'm I don't know it's one of those things like uh eh, if it goes well it's cool if not it's just gonna look bad and get in the way mm -hmm. that's the reason I hadn't tried that because you know I would like to like telescope in come out when it needs to or maybe when it's in flight mode I don't know it's just one of those things like, oh, I don't know, can I do it? You know, kind of situation. But it's mainly an Astro recolored, slightly modified Astro Origin, if you look at it. You know, still got the uh, the shotgun, still got the, uh, I like to call it the sledgehammer with the, some nano mite, some sort. That's in there, of course, if you watch the video from the Aristo Custom Astro. Before it became Jet, you know, before I finally came up with a name for it, um, I call it like gold and silver. And basically, this is a close, medium close course mobile suit. You know, get in, take out the enemy, get out, or if it needs to get in, do you know, go, you know, travel long distance as can because if it's in flight mode, you know, with the wingspan, you can go longer distance, travel further. Um, go higher up in the atmosphere. Like I said, the, really the only weapon this thing has is like this, uh, the uh, shotgun, which is right here. And I'm going to try to put this on, hopefully, with out. Last time, last video I made, the it had no batteries in here, so I couldn't turn it. So we're going to turn around here. As you can see, turn. You can see how I colored it differently. But like I said, it's a mid close course mobile suit. I colored the back thrusters red. I could have colored them gold or silver in a way it probably would have made more sense. But at the time, I just said, you know what? I want them red. So I colored them red. And... Pretty much, it follows the same color coding as, and I have to fix my booth because it's slightly coming apart. I have to super glue it to fix it. Yeah. Benny, anywho, each fix on that. Anyway, you see in the back here, yellow, red, uh, red here. I um, put some lining on it to make the details pop in the back here. So, you know, since the last time it was black. So, like I said, it was black. I I don't know, just the black was okay, but at the same time, the black, I don't know, it just, it was all black. As you can see, I recolored, you know, certain parts, black here, yellow there. And I think it could, made it, it could be better, but I think I did pretty good for what I had at the time because... I didn't really get my airbrush kit until maybe about a month ago. So that my stuff cuts off. 
10 million volts. But it basically, um, the frame is airbrushed. But the, the rest of it is painting. That's why if you see any flaws, that's why. You see I got yellow here, black here, yellow up in here. Like I said, you can see it more clearly while I panel line with the Gundam marker. Because when I try to do panel lining, it seems like once I paint it, it just don't do so well. So I have to use the Gundam marker on that. And... You know, it's just what I really, I have, I don't know, the burgundy color on the original Astro Origin I had a problem with because it just, it just looked weird for me. But, you know, that's their design so they can do whatever they want. Uh, I don't really like the helmet too much, but it is what it is. And I pretty much like Astro Origin, Astro, sorry, Astro helmet and Astro um, Residential Mementos helmet. I mean, not helmet, head. I like that. So, you know, if I need to use it for another kit, I will. But, you know, it just, what the, the original Jedi Astro I had was just not what I wanted to be, but it's what I could use at the time. At the time, I wanted to use the Astro and Astro Origin. It did all right. I probably could have did better with the coloring. Like, kill it like it is now. But, you know, hey, it's all good. Some of the pieces, like the shoulders and possibly the right arm armor is from the original Jet Astro. And the shoulder binders and the backpack. And, you know, the shotgun and the, the weapon holster there. Pretty much everything else would be new. And, you know, that's, to me, what you're seeing right now is what I want the kit to be in the first place. Well, well, not first place, but ultimately how I want it to be. Could I still do more to it? Yeah. And I'm going to do it right now. Not right now, since I got other stuff to do. I just came out with my gaming channel, Feel Good Gaming, so... I will put a link to um, the Feel Good Gaming channel in the link below. Uh, right now, I have mainly just Destiny 2 um, content on there. I'm currently running the Titan, Female Titan, uh, Sunbreaker. You know, visit the channel when you got some time. and There's some good game footage on there. But back to here. Like I said, it's, it's what I wanted my Jet Astro to be. You can say, I don't know if it'd be, I guess right now it would be the final form of Jedi Astro. If I may change the weapons on it and stuff like that. But right now, this is what it is. And I, I am happy to say that I think it's some of my best work. Um, it could have been better if I just airbrushed everything. But at the time... Jet after a two pour with cred, I was hand brushing. I was getting to the point I was getting really tired of hand brushing. So when I got my hair brushing up, I said, hey, you know, I can pick up what I left off, finish it up, and show it to everyone. But this form, I I imagine it to be, I want Ren to kind of transform into 2.0. You know, if you need a little more speed. We need speed instead of power, because to me, Dual Astro off Ren is power. You know, you got the two shields that turn, the, you know, the shield arms. You know, you can hold four weapons at once. To me, it's like the power form. You know, the ground, mainly ground. They can fly, but not as fast as, you know, Jet here. So, kind of like this would be the speed. Of course, this form also has power, but to me, I feel like it sells more in speed, mobility. You know, to me, it's more of power. <coughs> Sorry. But I have one more thing to show you before I end this review and what it's looked like in its, uh, when it's deploying, when it's in flight mode. So I will now show you Jet Astro 2.0 in flight mode. And here is Jet Astro 2.0 
in its flight form. Now, just like Astro Origin, in its flight form, it can travel, you know, try used to travel great distances in battle, um, be able to cruise several times more than a normal mobile suit and can fly at a high altitude in the atmosphere as well as glide for extended periods of time. So basically go further, go higher, glide longer than the normal mobile suit. So it basically can go anywhere almost at once. And so basically Jet Astro 2.0 is kind of like a custom version of that. My Jet Astro version is a custom version of that. And I have it out here with this, uh, I think it's a nanomite sword. I'm probably not saying that right. It has like a, uh, some type of nanomite sword that allows it pretty much cut through anything. And that's pretty much how mine is going to be. It's pretty much the same concept as it is the same sword, just recolored. And so basically with this, it had, like I said, it can travel further, higher, longer. You know, in this form. So basically speed, and if it wants to fly a great distances, this would be the form to do it. Rather than uh, do a last star friend. And I'm, uh, like I said before, I'm very happy with this um, custom kit. And I think I did pretty good. So, this is Feel Good of Feel Good Gumpla. I wish everyone a good day. Later.